Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, classmates. My name is Benjamin Biongo, and I am here to discuss the different kinds of laboratory equipments. Together with their functions, and of course, we will be familiarizing their pictures. No? Uh, but before we start our discussion for today, let us pray first. Okay. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for this day. Nabalik-sama-sama niyo po. Nahili. Naway uh, matag mo na at matulong kami ni Ma'am na ma-wide doon aming kaalaman, Lord. At sana uh, matutunan namin yung different kinds of laboratories na may babahal po sa mga na. Uh, Lord, may maraming salamat po sa lahat ng blessings. Uh, lagi niyo po kaming patnubayan, Lord, uh, especially to our health. And of course, uh, bless us in every day. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, to formally start our discussion for today, let us start with the first uh, laboratory equipment that we have, and that is, next slide please, we have the beaker. Okay, so when we say beaker, it is a simply container for stirring, mixing, and heating liquids. Okay, so as you can see in the picture, in the left side, that is a picture uh, presentation for beaker. Okay, so as you notice, it is a kind of container no, that is being used for stirring, mixing, and heating liquid. So, uh, we all familiar when we are uh, conducting uh, experiments, we are uh, mixing two substances for a certain chemical reaction and of course for heating liquids in the part of our experiment. Okay, so next is generally cylindrical uh, in shape with a flat bottom and a lip of for pouring. Okay, so as you can see, the bottom um, shape for beaker is uh, flat. Okay, so so that uh, the container is suitable for the ground. Hindi siya matatapon, right? Kapag flat yung nga sa bottom niya, of course, mag-fit siya doon sa uh, flat surface na kung saan of course, ilalagay natin yung beaker natin doon for a safety purposes also na hindi matapon yung inumix natin substances for our experimentation. And of course, as you can see, uh, like in uh, picture, kung picture yan, yung ginagamit natin sa tubig, yan, yung pouring ko niya, yung leak niya is the same as uh, the picture. It's because para yung asynchronize, yung... Uh, yung pag-flow ng ating uh, substance is maayos at hindi kalat-kalat. Kung baga mabubuo siya, hindi siya magulo. Okay, so we have here available in a wide range of sizes from 1 millimeter, 1 milliliter up to several liters. Okay, so as you can see, this particular uh, apparato is uh, also not, not only for mixing and steering but also it has... Um, the uh, measurements for your uh, substances that being used in your experimentations. No? So, uh, matatansya mo yung mga yung matatansya mo yung uh, liquid na gagamitin mo dun sa yung experimentations. So, napakaganda ni Beaker. No? That is the job of or the function of Beaker and also, as you can see the picture, uh, para lang sing siyang pitchin, no? So, tandaan nyo yung itsura niya. Okay, so for next slide, we have Okay, another one which is another apparato which is the Erlenmeyer flask. Okay, so as you can see the picture on the left side, yan. Yan yung kanyang uh, appearance, no? Nagkita nyo yung kanyang appearance yan. Uh, which is a flat conical body and a cylinder cylindrical neck. Okay, so flat siya. Uh, yung body niya is flat. Pababa uh, lang. Yan. And then, same as with the beaker, yung sa kanyang bottom is flat but may pa-curve siyang konti lang. Ano? Pero, it's same din lang naman sila kasi uh, ang purpose din yan is kapag clear mo siya sa surface na one, hindi rin siya basta-basta matatako. Okay, but ang kinaiba nila is sumikip yung, yung sa sa my neck, no? which is a uh, cylindrical neck. It's because yung sanit niya, yung sa dulo niya is bilog. Right? Okay. So, bakit nga ba ganun, no? Allows, it's because allows content, contents 
to be swirled or steered during an experiment. Narrow neck, narrow neck keeps the contents from spilling out. Okay, so the purpose of that, kaya maliit yung butas niya, it's because uh, during the experimentation, yung, um, yung chance of losing the substance from this kind of apparato is mababa. It's because maliit yung butas niya at the same time, uh, hirap din lumabas yung 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 particular uh, substance na gagamitin natin in our um, experiment. Okay, so kaya yan yung purpose niya. No? Unlike doon sa beaker. Okay, so dito na yung sinasabi niya is next one is we have reduces evaporative losses compared to beaker. Okay, so as you can see, yan uh, unlike sa beaker, di ba, napakaki yung butas niya. So there's a big tendency na kapag natapon is marami talaga yung matatapon uh, during your experimentations yan, kapag uh, hindi na ingatan. And then, of course, the function of this is also to have a mixture also. No? I mean, mix mo rin dito yung different kinds of uh, substance. Uh, and at the same time, uh, mamimeasure mo rin. Meron din itong uh, measurement. No? Yan, nandyan naman. 250 ml na kalagay dyan, di ba? So, mayroong particular measurement for the substance that you're going to use in your experiments. Okay, so next one is, next slide please, we have okay, volumetric flask. Okay, so dito as you can see in the left side, the picture of volumetric flask uh, very question, no? Very rare. It's because uh, yung kanyang appearance is um, something like bago. Okay, so here, a flat bottom bulb, okay, with a long neck, usually fitted with a stopper. Okay, so as you can see, no, flat yung kanyang uh, bulb, baga yung tube niya. And then, sa, sa pinakababa niya, the neck is a single ring, okay, single ring. Yan, may, may butas siya. Graduation mark and uh, la 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 label. Okay, yan. So, used for making solutions to a known volume. Okay, so here, also, uh, nagmimake siya ng uh, substance in also. So, usually, ginagamit itong volumetric flask. Pag, ang paggamit niya, parang napagamit niya is yung hawakan mo siya, then kakalug-kalugin mo siya. Yan, something like that. Or, yun nga, uh, mag magpuproduce siya, no? Ng also substance. So, as you can see, uh, different kinds of apparatus, but there are similarities with inter within terms to their functions. Okay, so, tandaan nyo lang na kapag si volumetric, ang, ang tube niya is masyado mahaba. Then, pagdating sa baba is magka-curve na siya. Then, maliit lang siya as in. Okay, nagpahaba lang sa kanya yung kanyang tube. Okay, so, next one is, for the next slide is we have, okay, graduated cylinder. Okay. So, very familiar, no? With this kind of graduated cylinder apparato. It's because we, we are being uh, watched, no? Usually, this these are the apparato used in uh, experimentations. Okay. So, what is a graduated cylinder? Used to accurately measure the volume of, of an object. Okay. So, here, it's because madali lang naman siya gamitin. Usually nga, para sa akin, is ito yung... Uh, Madalas na ginagamit in conducting an experimentation for, of course, the measurement of the volume no? of an object na or, uh, uh, or the substance na gagamitin mo doon sa iyong experiment. May measurements yan. So, tandaan nyo rin na sa kon natin, apparatus natin is marami tayong different kinds of apparatus na mayroong mga measurements for uh, the right volume na ilalagay natin doon sa experimentation natin. Okay, so more accurate and precise for this purpose than flask and beakers. Okay, so yun nga, sinasabi niya dito na more, more, more accurate yung ating graduated cylinder than dun sa dalawa nating na unang na-discuss which is the uh, uh, flask and beaker. Okay, so next slide please, we have test tube. Yan. This is also a... Uh, very common apparato which is used in uh, experimentation because yan uh, during my experience yan uh, si kanina na na-discuss natin yung isang aparato din ito si test tube very common ko silang nakikita during my time in high school nagkaroon kasi kami ng field trip for uh, science trip 
Hindi na ipin. It's because science class nga pinapili kong uh, section. Uh, nagkaroon kami nun and then nakikita ko yung experimentations nila and most commonly, they are using test tubes. Okay, so come, what is test tube? Common piece of glassware consisting of a finger like a lead of glass or clear plastic tubing. Open at the top, usually wide around the U-shaped bottom. So as you can see, para siyang finger. No, finger-like lang siya. And then, of course, yung meron siyang butas sa top, no? cylinder siya, bilog, round, okay? And then, tube lang siya. Yan, makita nyo naman, tube. Ito yung picture niya sa left side, very common. And then, U-shape. Okay, masasabi rin natin U-shape kasi kung i-imagine mo naman din, that is the representation, makikita mo nga na may U-shape bottom. Okay, so, usually, dapat itong uh, test tube when we use it, Uh, dapat may ingat tayo kapag naglagay na tayo ng substance, hindi lang basta-basta na hindi lang pag it's because uh, may particular uh, lalagyan itong si test tubes no? para uh, hindi sila matapon okay, so that's because yung kanilang bottom is U-shape no? very understandable naman yan yung common sense na maintindihan na natin okay, so next is available in a multi multitude of lengths and widths okay, typically from 2 to 20 mm wide and 50 to 200 mm long. Okay, so that is the particular uh, measured uh, measurement for this uh, kind of apparato which is test tube. So, yan, tandaan lang natin, no? 10 to 20 mm wide, yan yung kanyang uh, haba, Ay, ganyan yung kanyang lapad, yan, width, no? Wide, lapad, and 50 to 200 mm long yung kanyang haba. Okay. So, next one is we have a next slide. Okay. Beaker tongs. Okay. So, as you can see in the picture, no? It's like a scissor. Okay. Scissor lang siya, pero baluktot and then wala naman siyang blade. No? So, this one is tong. No? Beaker tongs. Okay. So, tongs used to carry a beaker after it has been subjected to heat and or cold temperature. So, kanina na-discuss natin na itong si Beaker, no? Familiar naman kay, B kay Beaker, di ba? Para siyang picture, o yun nga, sasabi ko sa inyo, no? Usually, uh, being used in, usually being used in house, di ba? Pag uh, inong tayong tubig, yan. So, ngayon, itong si Beaker is uh, responsible for, also, yung function niya is for eating liquids, right? Uh, so, kapag mainit si Beaker, syempre, hindi mo siya pwedeng hawagan. You have to use Uh, the designated instrument for that one. Okay. In that particular situation, that is the function of tong, bigger tongs, no? Siya yung mag-hold doon kapag mainit si bigger and then, i-carry mo siya to proceed on your uh, experiment na gagawin. Okay. So, yun yung gamit ni bigger. Siya lang yung mag ay, ni bigger tongs. Siya lang yung mag-hawak kay bigger. Okay. Next is, we have, we have also here the test tube holder. Okay, so as you can see, kung si uh, Beaker meron ding uh, nagahawak sa kanya, si test tube naman meron din. Okay, so dito, agri, uh, nakita nyo naman yung sa left side, dyan yung pictures ni test tube holder natin. Okay, so here, uh, a gripping device used to carry a test tube after it has been subjected to heat and or cold temperature. So, the same with uh, the um, Beaker, na kapag mainit din or malamig yung temperature which is very uh, familiar naman tayo na yung mga minimix nating uh, substance during our experimentation days is bawal hawakan that's why kapag uh, before tayo mag-start ba diba? okay so before tayo mag-start yung experimentations may mga paalala use glass yan to protect your eyes use gloves to protect your hands ba diba? something like that so dito Uh, supposed to be kapag ganito na yung nangyari nga na mainit and then lumamig bawal hawakan talaga yan ng ating mga kamay so merong mga uh, designated uh, instrument being used uh, so dito na papasok si test tube holder or test tube okay so parehas nang yan understandable parehas dun sa kanina na kay uh, beaker na kailangan may maghawak sa kanina and this is the test tube holder also yung para sa test tube Okay, so, next one, we have the next slide is, okay, cruci crucible tongs. Okay, so here, as you can see, parehas siya dun sa bigger tongs kanina. 
which is para din siyang gunting but the shape is something like uh, merong difference but uh, I must say na hindi naman siya ganun ganun ka difference ano there are big similarities uh, from uh, bigger tongs to crucible tongs okay so tongue used to carry crucible after it has been subjected to heat and cold temperature so here uh, usually nga uh, unlike uh, like doon sa pares doon sa nauna nating nabanggit kanina na holder ganito rin yung gawain ni crucible tongs so sino yung kanyang binuhat si crucible okay so next slide is we have test tube brush okay so a device used to clean the inside of test tube or other long neck glassware okay so definitely uh, very understandable na itong si test tube brush is used for cleaning uh, the different kind of uh, test tube no test tube basta uh, malilinis niya maabot niya yung tube and then makakapasok yung panlinis na yan uh, yun yung uh, functions niya okay so makita niyo naman para siyang ordinary lang din na panlinis yan very understandable okay so for the next slide is we have okay uh, scopula Okay, scopula. Okay. A utensil used to transfer solids, usually in powdered form. Okay, so, as you can see, para siyang uh, imbudo, no? So, ang trabaho na ni scopula, parang hindi siya literally uh, imbudo, parang kung siya yung hose, yan, something like that. So, ang trabaho niya is to transfer solid, no? Uh, usually in powdered form. Okay, so, maglalagay ka ngayon ng uh, liquid, and then, nadaloy dyan. And then, eventually, uh, that particular liquid is being formed to a solid form. Okay. Mag mabubuo yung powder. Then, yung powder na yun, dyan mo pa magdadaanin sa scopula. So, yun yung gamit niya. So, remember the picture. Kung ano yung itsura niya, ganyan lang siya. Para lang siyang daluyan ng tubig. Okay. So, next is, next slide we have thermometer. O, oh, very, very, kung ano very common. Uh, usually, thermometer in uh, sa atin. No? Iba yung thermometer being used in the, the certain uh, experimentations. And iba din yung thermometer na ginagamit sa atin during our uh, uh, sickness day like uh, fever, di ba? Yung panikasakit ka. So, but the same lang yung the same lang yung kanilang function. And that is okay, so thermometer is a device used to measure the temperature of a substance. Okay. So, here, diba, uh, most likely alam na natin to na the si thermometer is being used to measure the temperature, no? Kung yung temperature ba yun medyo mataas, yan, or medyo mababa, or sapat na ba. Yun yung trabaho ni thermometer. Like as human also, kapag magkasakit, yung thermometer natin na ginagamit para sa atin, ganun din, diba? Uh, we are checking the normal, the too much, diba? That is the uh, function of thermometer. Okay, so for the next slide is we have okay, forceps. Okay, so as you can see in the picture it's like a chane. Okay, very familiar naman tayo dyan, no? It's like a chane. Yung kung tanggal ng buhok. Okay. So here, what is a forceps? A handheld hinge instrument used for grasping and holding objects. Okay, gaya ng sabi ko sa inyo kanina, before, before we proceed to a certain experimentations, there are uh, rules or protocols that we need to embody. Especially yung uh, bawal hawakan yung substance. And, uh, especially, rather, the, the safety tips. No? Wherein bawal hawakan yung uh, mga substance natin ginamit doon. And the, also the objects. No? Uh, that's why marami tayong mga aparatos na panghawak sa mga aparatos na nagamit natin for mixing a substance. Okay. So, dito, si forceps, isa rin siya. No? Uh, isa rin siya sa mga naghahawak ng mga instrument na ginamit mo when, when it comes to uh, conducting your experiment. Okay. So, use when fingers are too large to grasp uh, small objects or when uh, many objects need to be held at one time while hands are used to perform a task. A task. Okay. So, yan. Um, pag yung fingers mo, also, yan. Pag kwan na daw, uh, it, yung gamit din ito is yung pag yung fingers mo is masyadong malalaki. 
And then yung pupulutin mo naman na pupulutin mo na certain objects with uh, regards to your experimentation is maliit. Then that's the time that you will use for steps. No? So very important siya it's because yun nga uh, makaiwas ka rin sa kung ano man yung uh, uh, kung ano man yung magagawa ng certain object na yun sa kamay mo. No? So safety purpose din itong si forceps. Okay, so for the next slide is we have medicine dropper. Okay, so as you can see, very uh, common na ito. Usually used in uh, vitamins in uh, children's, di ba? Yan yung mga tiki-tiki. Yan. Di ba? Ginagamitan niya ng medicine dropper. Okay, so dito naman, meron din siya. Uh, pero ang kwan nito, ang meaning dito sa medicine dropper sa ating aparato is usually glass tubes. Okay? Paper to a narrow point, okay, and fitted with rubber bulb at the top, okay. So, anong ano? Anong ah? Anong purpose ni rubber? Okay. Siya yung magbibigay ng pressure na para makasipsip, no? Kapag pinindut may namatagal and then siya usong mudo sa certain ah certain substance and then nirelease mo, isisipsip siya na ah substance or liquid. While kapag gusto mo namang ilabas yung liquid na nasipsip mo, pindutin mo lang and then lalabas na yun. Okay. So, yan. Very familiar naman. Makita natin yung picture dyan. Yan. So, next is, and also para sa akin, uh, itong si medicine dropper is to control, no? Also the, uh, kasi may certain measurements din yan eh. To control uh, the liquids na gagamitin mo. And also, this, yun nga sinabi ko sa inyo, used to transfer small quantities of liquids. Yan, kasi ito naman si medicine dropper, uh, konti lang naman yung kanyang nakukuha ng liquids. No? And uh, konti lang naman yung nakukuha ng liquids na magagamit mo doon sa iyong uh, experimentation. So, okay, so next one is we have, next slide, test tube rock. Okay, used to hold support test tubes containing chemicals waiting for further operations. Sabi ko nga kanina, gaya nga nang nasabi ko, Sa test tube ay walang flat bottom. That's why hindi natin siya pwedeng ilabag kung saan-saan. It's because there is a big tendency na matapon siya. No, matapon yung laman ng test tube natin or yung certain uh, uh, substance na nandoon. No? So, ito yung ginagamit para uh, ito yung designated tools na kung saan ilalagay mo sa test tube para secure siya na hindi siya matatapon. Okay. So, ito yung gamit ng ating test tube rack. So, suportan niya yung test tube. Okay. And also, uh, yung tendency na matapon, yung chemical na contains niya is, wala na mababa na, di ba? It's because secured na siya ni test tube rack. Okay. So, next slide please is we have glass steering rod. Okay. So, here as you can see, uh, it's like a stick. Diretso lang naman siya. So, ano nga ba ang gamit ni steering rod? A piece of lab equipment used to mix chemicals and liquids for laboratory purposes. Okay. So, gaya na sabi ko, bawal kamayin yung mga substance na gamit natin. Especially in mixing, right? So, meron tayong glass steering rod. Which is, uh, umbaga sa pagtitimpla ng kape, meron tayong kutsara. Dito naman sa ating uh, laboratory aparato, present si glass steering rod for mixing or steering you know, sa paghalo ng mga uh, different chemicals na gusto natin haluin. Okay. So, usually may do solid glass. Okay. Yan siya. Solid glass. About the thickness of a drinking straw. Okay. So, uh, particularly we are familiar with the straw being used to drink uh, soft drinks. Yan. So, ganun lang yung kanyang uh, ganun lang siya kalapad or ganun lang yung texture niya. Ganun lang. Pero, Hindi siya plastic ah. Glass siya. Solid glass yung ating glass steering rod. Okay, so for the next slide is we have, okay, we have Bunsen burner. Okay. So here, uh, a piece of laboratory equipment that uh, produces a single open gas flame which is used for heating, uh, sterilization, and combustion. Uh, combustion. Okay, rather. <coughs> okay, so as you can see, it's like a, uh, one lang siya for flaming purposes para uh, ma-heat mo yung certain uh, certain uh, 
substance na gagamitin mo in your experimentation. So, most likely, ang gamit niya lang is pagpapainit. No? Pinapainit niya. Yung, uh, so, nandyan yung involvement of flame. Okay. Nandyan yung uh, heat. Nandyan. Siya yung nag-produce nag niyan. No? Through the presence of heat. Yan. Napapainit yung substance natin. Which is usually ginagamit yan uh, for different kinds of uh, experimentations. Na para, uh, of course, may purpose naman yun and uh, para maging successful yung experimentation. So, napakadelikado. That's why we need to be educated when using this Bunsen burner. It's because uh, very kwan na siyang uh, mahirap na siyang uh, gamitin kapag uh, wala kang kaalaman. Kaya dapat well educated ka when using this Bunsen burner. Not only this Bunsen burner but all of the uh, laboratory apparatus na na-discuss natin kanina. Okay. Next one is we have, next slide please. A retort stand. Okay, so as you can see here, the picture of retort stand is in the left side. Yan. A piece of scientific equipment to which clamps can be attached to hold test tubes okay, and other equipment such as bullets. Okay. So, okay, so dito sa uh, retort stand, uh, usually, uh, kalama siya. Yan. Iniipit yung uh, test tubes dyan no? to hold, no? And also other equipments, yeah. So, yun yung uh, retort stand, okay. So, next one is we have, uh, pa lang yan, yung ilalagay lang yan, yung equipment. Kapag, ako nyo na, hindi ginamit, no? Hindi ginamit, yan. Okay, babaliktad yung test tube, hindi yung kapasok dyan. Di safety na siya, dun lang siya, uh, balance na, yun yung trabaho ng resort. Okay, next slide is we have C-clam. Okay, C-clam. As you can see here in C-clam, a device shaped like a C. Okay, kaya nga tinawag na C-clam, di ba? Uh, used to hold or secure objects to a retort stand. Okay, so dito, yan, uh, makikita nyo, uh, katulong ito ni uh, retort stand, no? To secure, no? Na walang uh, mababasag ng mga tubes na lasa sa kanya or nakukulong niya. Okay, so here, makikita nyo yung uh, picture niya. Yan, nandyan. So, most likely, holder talaga siya. Okay, so, uh, very understandable naman na yung kanyang function. So, let's proceed with the next slide, please. Burette or burette. Yan. So, that is uh, the uh, pronunciation for that. Burette or burette. Okay, so what is it? Okay, so what is burette? Okay. So, a vertical uh, cylindrical piece of laboratory glassware with a volumetric graduation on its full length and a precision top or stop cap on the bottom. Okay, so as you can see, yan nga siya, no? Uh, cylindrical, pabilog nyo sa kanya nga sa taas. And then, of course, uh, made of glass siya, glassware. Yeah. Of course, uh, may stopper siya, din sa may bandang bottom. Yan, of course, ah, uh, Kapag nagkaroon ka kasi, ah, parang gamit kasi niya, no? Ah, yan, ito yung gamit niya. Used to dispense known amounts of liquid in experiment for which precision is necessary. Okay. So, example is uh, titration experiment. Okay, so for example, no? merong certain uh, chemicals ka na gustong ilagay dun sa iyong uh, sa iyong experiment. This is being used, no? We're in, parang container kasing nasa taas niyan. And then, maglalagay ka ng substance dyan. And then, nakadepende na sa iyo yan kung ano gusto mo. Then, open mo siya. Pag open mo, lalabas yung substance. It's either konti o marami. Nakadepende sa'yo. Pwede mo siyang pati. Yun yung gamit ni Red. Okay. So, makikita nyo naman sa kanyang pictures, uh, picture rather, na yun yung uh, trabaho niya talaga. Okay, so for the next slide is we have wire mesh. Okay, so here in wire mesh, a semi-permeable barrier made of connected strands of metal fiber or uh, other flexible ductile material. material. Okay, so here used for a barrier, lang, barrier, uh, barrier made of connected strands of metal. So, yan, something like that, uh, pang-balot siya barrier na siya, si wire mesh. So, very understandable. 
Let's proceed with the next slide, please. Play triangle. Okay, so as you can see here, kaya siya tinawag na triangle, it's because of, this, of its shape in the picture presented, no? Used to hold a crucible while the crucible is heated. Okay, so yan. Uh, kumbaga, itong si crucible, um, si clay triangle is also an instrument used when the crucible is being heated no? in experimentation. For, of course, uh, avoid the uh, yun nga, uh, mapaso yan, and hindi maganda mangyari during the experimentation. So, yun yung gamit ni clay triangle. So, kaya triangle kasi triangle. Okay, so, next one is we have, next slide please, crucible. O, oh, ito na yung sasabi natin crucible kanina. Okay, so ano nga ba itong si crucible? Nakita nyo yung pictures niya. Okay, nandito siya. Okay, parang na siyang baso. Right? So, originally used for me metal, glass, and pigment production. Okay, a crucible is a container that can now withstand temperatures high enough to melt or otherwise alter its contents. Okay, so as you can see, uh, from being uh, solid to liquid, yan, uh, siguro yan ang ginagawa. And then, uh, kaya niya yung high temperature, no? For, in order to melt that certain contents na nilagay mo sa kanya. Okay. So, very conscious, Very known for uh, melting the uh, object na gusto mong ma-melt in terms of your uh, experimentation. Yung gagamitin mo sa experimentation. Okay. So, next slide is we have, very ko na siya, understandable na si Cosimbal. Kaya next na tayo. Funnel. Okay. Used to, okay, so dito, funnel, okay, as you can see in the picture, like, presented, in Budo, yeah, very popular in Budo, used to channel liquid or fine grain substance into containers with a small opening. Okay, so no need to explain, very understandable, uh, used to transfer, no, to transfer the, uh, is, uh, the substance, no, from the different uh, tubes, something like that, and Of course, it has a small opening. Maliit na yung butas niya na makuflow. Pero malaki yung salaan niya. No? Okay, so next slide is we have filter paper. Okay, a semi-permeable barrier, paper barrier, place the perpendicular to liquid or airflow used to separate fine solids from liquids or air. Okay, so usually, uh, yan, uh, parang dadampi-dampi mo siya yan para maabsorb niya yung uh, maabsorb niya yung uh, liquid or the substance and then may iwan yung kung ano man yung nakad, mayroon ba doon a solid something like that na naiwan and then yun nga ma mahihiwalay niya yung liquid into solid something like that okay so yun lang naman yung trabaho ng filter paper okay so next slide is we have Mortar and pestle. Okay, so as you can see, pare lang siyang dikdikan ng sili. Ganon. Ganon lang siya. Makikita nyo siya, meron siyang parang bowl, and then meron siyang dikdikan. Okay, so, so here is the mortar and pestle. Okay, so ano nga ba yung uh, use ng ating mortar and pestle? Okay, this, is, this tool is usually used to crush, grind, and make solid substances. Okay, so like, uh, alam naman natin kung paano ito po gawin, uh, paano ito uh, nag-function. Usually, ginagamit din natin ito in some sort of situation. Something like, kung mag-dilidig ka ng sili, yan, ginagamit natin yan, di ba? Parang sa atin, uh, ginagamit din natin siyang tools. In certain uh, experimentation, usually here in, uh, kung nga siya, naging part siya ng laboratory equipment, parang parehas din lang yung kanyang uh, functions, no? Ganon din lang to grind the solid and mix the solid substances. Okay, so, the pestle is a heavy butt shaped object, the end of which is used for crushing and grinding. Okay, so, as you can see, yung parang butt dyan, yung butt na ni-use mo for yung solid para mag-grind siya hanggang sa masatisfy ka na sa gusto mong pino ng solid na na ginagrind mo doon or yung yung binidikdik, yan. Yan yung uh, tinatawag na pestel. Okay. 
Well, the mortar is a bowl. Okay, yan yung bowl. Yung mortar is yun yung container, which is yung bowl. Nalalagyan na nung certain solid uh, materials na gusto mong adikdikin using the pestle. Okay, typically made of hardwood. Okay, it may be, uh, the bowl is um, made by hardwood or ceramic or stone. Okay, so, dun, uh, dun gawa yung ating uh, mortar or yung bowl natin. Okay, so, Next slide is we have spot plate. Ceramic plate with small wells or depressions built into it. Okay. So, used to perform reactions in, on a very small amount of materials. Okay. So, dito, pinagahalo yung mga, mga different kinds of um, different kinds of substances and uh, dito, perform yung different kinds of reactions na mangyayari in that uh, particular mixture of substance wherein the amount is uh, very lang, very small hindi siya marami it's because yung space nga niya nakarga niya is konti lang naman yan eh yung palubog so konti lang naman yung nalalagay mo dyan so uh, next one is we have or the next slide is we have evaporating dish so here uh, para lang siyang uh, Nalagyan, something like that. Okay. Nakita nyo naman sa picture, yun yung uh, representation ng ating evaporating dish. A, a porcelain or a ceramic dish used to use uh, to evaporate excess water. Okay. Or other solvents to ensure that the concentration solution or the dissolved substance is left behind. Okay. Uh, kung siya, uh, strainer pala siya, no? uh, yung Kaya siya yung parang salaan din siya ng tubig. Yan. So, dito, uh, kinukon lang niya na, ini-insure niya lang na yung mga particular object na hindi na-dissolve is may iiwan dito sa ating evaporating dish and masasalan niya yung water lang. Pure liquid lang yung makukuha natin. So, ang trabaho ng evaporating dish is to ensure that the, the object uh, being uh, not dissolved in that particular substance is being uh, ma- Ma masasalin or ma maalis and ma ensure that the liquid is being strained. Okay, yun lang. Okay, so for the next slide is we have Petri dish. Okay, Petri dish. A shallow glass or plastic cylinder linked dish that biologists use to culture cells. Okay, so usually, makita naman natin itong uh, Petri, Petri dish yan sa pictures. Pinagamit ng mga scientists yan for uh, examining the culture cells okay, we're in glass type siya or plastic yan, bilog siya and then, uh, very familiar naman na tayo dito bagayan yung ginagamit for the microscope examination lalagay dyan yung cell and then particularly, that particular is uh, petri dish is being examined in the microscope, tinignan mo doon no? so yun yung ating petri dish okay, so for the next slide is we have Watch glass. Okay. Uh, so, what is a watch glass? So, particularly, parang parehas lang sila doon, pero watch glass ito. So, a circular, uh, slightly curved piece of glass used in chemistry as a surface of evaporate a liquid to hold solids while being weak or as a cover for a beaker. Okay, so here, uh, uh, cover lang siya ng beaker. Yan. So, usually, it is used for chemistry. And also, uh, to evaporate a liquid uh, yan, to hold solids while being weak okay so watch glass parang uh, ilalagay mo yung certain uh, object doon na gusto mo yung examine yan so doon mo parang uh, examine siya na titingin mo kung ano nga ba yung texture niya appearance niya y yung watch glass yung gagamitin mo in that particular instance na gusto mong gawin sa yung uh, uh, experimentation okay so this is the end. This so watch glass is our last uh, laboratory equipment. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you learn something from me with, with regards to our different kinds of laboratory equipment. Okay. So since we have done in our uh, discussion for today or lesson for today, we will be having assessment for uh, ensuring that you truly understand our discussion for today.
Thank you so much guys for listening. Um, but before we end our discussion for today, let us pray first, okay? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, uh, thank you for this day. Na nag-deliver ko sa kanila, Lord, yung mga important uh, informations with regard to in regards to different kinds of laboratory equipments na may naiintindihan, Lord, na ating mga klase at na may uh, ni Ma'am yung knowledge namin, Lord, with this particular uh, laboratory equipments. Lord, thank you so much uh, na nandun ako ng chance na magbahagi ko sa kanya yung knowledge ko about this. Lord, uh, na may love yung ang pangayang Lord, to miss me to say, because good health and strength bless us in the good in life and uh, maraming maraming salamat Lord Mother and Mother. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So again, thank you guys. Thank you mom. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for listening.